call them in the fall or Hawkesbury. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I rise to commend and thank our frontline workers and volunteers for their diligence and tireless response to the COVID-19 pandemic and the challenges it has brought upon us. Our brave workers in healthcare put themselves front and centre from day one of the pandemic to treat those who were stricken with COVID-19 as well as test those who were at risk of having contracting it. To put it simply, many lives were saved because of them. The important role these workers have performed throughout the vaccination process cannot be underestimated. And we owe our incredible vaccination rates to their work. As a result of this, we have been able to move towards greater freedoms at a fast pace. We know the job of a healthcare worker can be tough in normal times, let alone during the health pandemic. These were unprecedented times and our healthcare workers responded by working hard to provide high quality care and protect the lives and health of all our community. They continue to do so and I wish them the very best of health and safety themselves. I also want to extend my thanks to the families of healthcare workers for having their loved ones serve the community with the front lines during this pandemic. Madam Speaker, I also take this opportunity to thank another group of frontline workers who have also been and continue to be vital in protecting us during this pandemic. The police have done an amazing job in very difficult times enforcing the public health orders which were put in place for the protection of the community. This has often placed them in tense and hostile situations in some areas, certainly not in Hawkesbury, but I've noticed it in other areas. Although the bravery of our, place, of our police uh, far uh, predates the pandemic and we recognise the risk to their own lives that police take each and every day in their role, prior to, during and post pandemic. The role of the police during the pandemic is enforcing compliance and, and that meant too that they were the frontline workers uh, and they were dealing with people that perhaps had COVID-19 and were positive in that case. Uh, that was the risk they faced. Uh, I want to also acknowledge the uh, police and their assistance with hotel quarantine. Uh, it took them away from their regular beat, but it was an essential um, uh, requirement and they rose to that occasion. I, I thank also the families of our brave and hardworking police for having their loved ones protect us in the community at great risk to themselves. Madam Speaker, I also, um, it's a pleasure to thank and commend the many volunteers who contributed to the wellbeing of others in many different ways. And look, I saw that so much so in Hawkesbury as well. But you know, there were a lot of stories around New South Wales that um, I was in awe of. Uh, we are well aware of the stories and good, uh, the good people utilising their own time and, and bearing the cost of expenses to drive around and deliver essential uh, food hampers to people in need. Uh, I want to uh, mention especially Karen Stuttle from Mountain of Joy in Hawkesbury and Linda Strickland from Hawkesbury Helping Hands. Uh, they're just two individuals who devoted all their time and their energy to helping others. These individuals contributed to our fight against the pandemic, despite having worked hard to deal with other disasters that occurred prior to and during the pandemic, such as droughts, bushfires and flood. The people of Hawkesbury and all of New South Wales are indebted to them. I have no doubt that their commitment to the protection and betterment of our community will remain for the remainder of the pandemic and the extend beyond the pandemic as they respond to any future challenges that individuals face on a day-to-day -day basis and those that society may face as a whole. Nevertheless, having faced drought, bushfires, floods and the COVID-19 pandemic within the last few years, I hope the future is one that is a lot calmer for our frontline workers and volunteers. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I'm just looking for virtually the member for Newcastle, if he's